Hoop up two layers of tearaway stabiliser. Stitch your position stitching for your batting. Or your placement stitching for your batting. Lay some batting on. And stitch the batting to the stabiliser. Remove the hoop from the machine and trim the batting back to 1 to 2mm away from the stitching, being careful not to actually clip any of the um, stitches. Turn your hoop to the machine and then stitch a placement line for your first, which will be the top of the um, opening of the, the case, um, for your first layer of fabric. So. Right side down and with the ed one edge about a quarter of an inch below the row of stitching we've just stitched, tape that into position. Right, stitch that down. Remove your hoop and then place your first lining piece so as it's right side down, wrong side up. And so the edge is again quarter of an inch below our original stitching line that we've, um, our placement line that we actually stitched in. With the bulk of the fabric sitting to the top of the hoop. We're going to stitch this in the position. This is going to be the lining of the, of the pocket, of the, um, the glass case, this will be the lining inside because that will eventually flip down. We just attach that lining to the front of the hoop so you know where it is so it doesn't get caught up. Finger press down that first strip and then let's just stitch that into position. Remove it from the hoop and trim down that bottom edge that we've just stitched so it's back about, oh, it's about a quarter of an inch from the stitching. We're going to stitch our placement stitching for our front fabric, which is going to be our board is going to be on. Stitch our front fabric into position. Don't be concerned that you've got curved lines sitting under straight lines, like for the bottom corners, that will all come to, come to um, the correct shape there at the very, very end. Make sure we trim that back to our stitching quite adequately, and we're going to put our first rows of triple stitch in. Now this triple stitch can actually be used by itself, we don't have to even go further than this, and we can apply another design on top of it. Um, should we want to not want to actually use the design that we have got. So the triple stitch is done, and now we're going to put in our satin stitch inside those, those bars. So it's going to look like a, a striped fabric once completed, and those gaps are for the embroidery to go on top of, so we don't get too much bulk. Stitch our contrast piece along the top of our outside fabric, just along the top there, and now we're going to actually add our, our lemons and branches and leaves. So we'll start off by doing a leaf. Doing our second leaf. Placement line for the lemon. Adding on some fabric. Now I've actually placed a layer of cutaways um, stabilizer underneath this fabric so as I can block out any fabric or stitching coming through to the right side of a lighter fabric. So I've stitched that into position, trimmed it back, and now we're satin stitching around the very edge of it. Let's put in the shine along the corner of the lemon. Now we're going to actually do some 
more leaves in a different shade. Add the veins to the leaves. And we're going to embroider the stems, the more woody bits. Gosh, it looks so real, it's beautiful. Now we're going to unpin this and bring this down, uh, this our lining, and let's attach it at the bottom because we want to stitch this into position. So that covers up the underside of our embroidery. Turn our hoop and stitch that on that first piece of lining into position. Let's take that washi tape off. We're going to stitch a placement line for the top of the, the glasses case or the phone case. Add our back, this is the back of the case. So it's right side facing the hoop or right side down. And we're adding a layer of batting on top of that to give it some softness. Stitch this into position. So at this stage you can actually trim trim that back, so okay, we'll trim the batting back, turn the hoop over to the wrong side, and we're going to add the lining, so face down. And I've just put, placed a piece of bag stiffening on top of that, you could create, create, um, place a piece of um, cutaway stabiliser. I've just put some, some bag stiffening just to make this have a little bit more of a rigid feel. And we're going to do our sew round. So this is the um, first, this is the final seam that goes around the, the work. Um, and it's a triple stitch and uh, it just keeps it into place. And it leaves a gap open at the bottom. Right, so let's take any sticky bits off. I trim the bottom back to half an inch to start off with. And trim the bag stabilizer which I've used. You don't have to do this. This can just be a plain piece of fabric. It can be a piece of batting. Um, I trim this round back to the stitching. Now I'm going to pull the, um, oh no, I'm going to clip into my, my two finishing points um, for the um, opening and then I'm going to tear away my tear away stabiliser. Now because I used two layers of that out there, it's quite, you've got to firmly tear it away. Trim a very shy quarter of an inch around your curved bottom area there. Again around the curve so it's, I'm using what I call a shy quarter of an inch so it's four millimeters or so. I don't want it to be too close but if you do it around the curves you do a shy quarter of an inch it means that you're um not going to have to be too worried about clipping into the the curves which I'd prefer not to do to do but I do sometimes just getting in there to actually trim that back level so because that's going to be the fold back I'm going to fold that piece of fabric over that and then that's where we're going to stitch the opening closed um when once we've turned it through so with great gusto 
turn it through. It's only got a small opening to turn it through, but we can't make it any wider because the the um, the project's not wide. Okay, I've got it. Turn it through. And that tear away needs to come out. Got it. It's just starting it. I'd much rather have it than this than find out that the tear away has actually come away during the process of stitching. Do not like very or do not like weak tear away. Now there's a bit of a beard from the from the um the pulp and the tear away along the seam, but this allows the seam to be a a fold out lined uh top seam when you turn this through. Uh, the beard from the tear away can be removed with a little bit of water and pulling it out, or you can actually use a flame and actually burn it off. Um, just be careful. But really, um, as a little bit of water and and pinching it with your fingernails, and then it does take it take it off. It's not soluble. You're having to pull the fibres from out from the seam. So we stitch that bottom section there, and let's roll those curves out. There we have it. There's a glasses case, and we just need to put a um, cam snap fastener on it, and we're we're done. So it could be a glasses case, it could be a phone case. Very simple. Mm -hmm.